guys, how's it going? Uh, so today I am out just doing some scouting on the e-bike looking for deer and animal signs. I um, also want to take and try this uh, new padded belt that I got from One Thief Surplus. It is a million times more comfortable than that old like Vietnam era uh, webbing type belt uh, that I showed in my belt kit. So this is that belt kit. If you've not seen that video, you can go check it out. Uh, just a few things interchanged out of the green pack, put a basket on the back of the bicycle, uh, and then I can take and pretty much put most of my gear in there. Got a new wrought iron pan uh, from Petromax that I've cooked with three times now at home, but this will be its first time getting to see a uh, campfire. I've got a really beautiful looking New York strip steak in there that we're gonna be throwing on very soon because I've got some spices and some oil because I'll get this pan and preheated. I've Never had a wrought iron pan before. I've done a lot with cast iron in the past. Uh, so it's really interesting seeing how the two uh, conduct heat differently. Uh, but I think this pan right here is gonna be amazing uh, for searing steaks. And I wanted to apologize for the short gap in uh, this week's videos. I've actually got uh, two other videos recorded but uh, the water cooler on my PC, the pump that goes from the reservoir that cycles the water, my CPU uh, went out. So I couldn't, uh, since I've overclocked my computer and uh, like I run a lot of high performance software for different tasks, uh, I don't want to risk messing up a $4,000 computer, uh, you know, just for not having a $45 water pump so i got that in the mail it should be here very soon so i thought this would be a great time for me to get out uh, try this belt rig uh you know scout around on the bike and have something kind of you know short and sweet but still interesting this spot right here is actually i wanted to come here and revisit this because i remember i'd had uh these rocks and stuff left over from whenever we'd done our i believe it was the jacket I can't remember if it was a jacket overnighter or if it was, I think it was a haversack overnighter. Uh, somewhere in that ballpark, it was some type of survival kit or minimal kit. And we set up this area, we rolled these logs in place. And I gotta say this area that we made for a bed uh, is still very, very soft. You just wanna take and revamp it with some more debris, but I'm pleased at how this uh, particular spot's held up. So up top here, we have our beautiful New York strip. I already got some seasoning. In, <clears throat> I've already got some seasonings on it, um, but we'll add some salt and pepper here in a second. Because one thing I wanted to show you guys, I know uh, a couple videos back, I showed y'all that large spice kit that I made. But it was a little bit too large uh, to practically carry all the time. Whenever it's just me, since I had the bicycle, I could have brought it, but I only need a couple of spices. Um, so I found this. This is made by, I think it's Bleaker and Row. Um, but it's just a really nice spice wallet. It has the same glass canister types that I use for mine. And like up top here, these are even good for holding oil. All right, so I have got my rocks repositioned to where we can kind of set our pan rested on that one right there. Our handle shouldn't get too hot, and there's still plenty of pass-through airflow. There's been a ton of planes flying around today. So I want to take and get our oil out. We got a slight slope right here, but there's not a lot I can do because of the rock shape. So we'll get that heated. Now, if any of you guys have any uh, tips or a lot of experience with wrought iron, let me know. Like to learn new things. Sorry about that, pause. There is just a big old yellow jacket over here just chilling. I don't think it's going to cause me to pop myself. Ooh, put that right there. This is what you like to hear.
baby. Look at that char right there. It's really nice having this spice kit now because I really enjoy cooking like this. It's just been so hot here lately that doing this is not really viable. It's just today we kind of have a slightly cooler and less humid day. I'm going to cut that open and see what we're working with. And whenever I took and got that new uh, Olden Wolf machete, uh, this right here is, there. it's like a pair of knife, but it's got nice sharp serrations on it. So this is like really lightweight and it's going to be like my dedicated food knife. Nice medium rough. I could have took it off just a few seconds sooner because I kind of I wouldn't think it in my head about the pan holding heat this long, and I didn't bring like a plate right in the center. That is pretty much the way that I like mine. So that worked out very good. Just gonna let that pan cool off a hair more, and we'll give her a go stuff is still super hot but we should be able to use this as a plate now hmm you can't boot it ma'am You get the added benefit of that smoldering now to kind of help smoke out the, the bugs. I'm barely putting any pressure because I don't want to flip this pan. You just see how tender and juicy this bad boy is. Mm. Well, guys, I'm going to take and sit here and finish eating this delicious steak. Uh, I mean, you don't need sides or nothing whenever it comes out this good. So, really appreciate y'all taking time to watch the video. If some of these day scout, like, shorter formatted type things is something you're into, let me know in the comment section. Because uh, I enjoy doing them. Any excuse you can get just to come out for the day and uh, whip up something like this, I'm all gun ho for Hopefully the water, uh, my water cooling pump will be here uh, very, very soon so I can get that fixed and we'll get back on track with all of our stuff because I want to do an overnighter with the belt kit ASAP uh, along with just a ton of other stuff that I've got planned that we need to get, uh, you know, get the show on the road with. So, uh, 
Uh, make sure you thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already shared channel with friends, family, anybody that enjoys good old outdoor activities. Uh, if you're interested in any of the gear or like where I got it, I'll try to link to everything that uh, I have a link to uh, down in the description box. So you can go give that a gander for yourself. And all that said, till the next one, guys. Adios.